In this video, I want to solve two questions involving medians and centroids. For the first question, we have triangle ABC with the following vertices with these coordinates, and it's graphed on the XY axis below. And we want to know what the coordinates of the centroid are for this triangle. So for one, we have to know what a centroid is, and it's the intersection point of all the medians of the triangle. So the easiest way to do this question is to just construct two of the medians and see where they intersect. So if we find the median from vertex B to side AC, we have to know what the midpoint of AC is. And in this case, it's visually obvious that this point is going to be where the midpoint is. If we wanted to verify, we could count the rise over run from A to the red point, which we could call point D. And we could count the rise over run from D to C and see if they match. And we have to go down one, two, three, and then over two units, and then down one, two, three, over two. So since we have the same rise and run, uh, D is definitely the midpoint. So now we're just going to connect these two points. And BD is the median of side AC. I'll just make that a little bit neater. So this is our median. Now, the easiest uh, side we could use out of the remaining ones would be to construct the median from point A to side BC, because BC is a horizontal line segment. Now, in this case, the distance from uh, 3, 3 to 11, 3, it's horizontal. So you could just count, and it's eight units across. So to identify the midpoint of this side, we just got to count over four units. So this point, uh, we'll call it point E, is the midpoint of BC. So now to construct this median, we're just going to connect point A to point E. And now we have enough information to identify our centroid, which is going to be at this location here in green. So then all uh, I'm going to do is just identify the coordinates. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going over 7 units. And to get here, we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So the coordinates of the centroid are 7, 5. Now, if this method uh, is not convincing enough, uh, like you know, the visual method uh, doesn't work for you, uh, you could also do this uh, algebraically. Uh, to do this algebraically, I'll just kind of communicate what I did here, is same thing, we have to find the midpoints uh, named D and E here. Um, and once we have the midpoints, we need to write the equation of the line through points B and D, and an equation of a line through points A and E. So to do that, like we find the coordinates of D, which is 9, 6. Then we find the slope between the points, which is a half, and we use that to write the equation of a line. And now from here, what we're going to do is write the equation of the line for AE, which is just x equals 7. So now we have two linear equations. So to solve this system, we're going to substitute x equals 7 into this equation. And once we solve, we're going to get y equals 5, which tells us the coordinates of the centroid are 7, 5. Now for the next question, uh, this is involving a diagram. We have triangle ABC with all three medians drawn. And we have the length of median uh, BE is 12 units long. And we want to know what is the length of just segment BD. Well, for one, in this question, we have to know that point D is the centroid of this triangle. And one fact about centroids is that the centroid separates a median into two segments that are in the ratio of two to one. The longer segment, the one that's twice as long, connects the centroid to the vertex, and the shorter segment connects the centroid to the midpoint of the opposite side. So we could label these sides 2x and x because the longer segment is twice as long as the other. But uh, considering that BE, the length of this segment is 12 units, that means we could set up the equation 2x plus x, which represents the length of the entire segment, that sum is going to be equal to 12 units. And now solving this basic equation, we have 3x equals 12, and then we're going to have x equals 4, but be careful, read very carefully here. We want to know what is the length of BD, not DE. So just because we solve for x doesn't mean we're done. We have to just substitute now. BD is equal to 2 times 4, which is 8. So our solution to this question is choice one. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on medians and centroids. If you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe below, and thank you for watching.